Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm, going to show, today I'm going to show you how to work out the nth term of a number sequence which contains fractions. So the way to do this then is to work out the nth term for your numerators and work out the nth term of the denominators because you should be able to see that the numerators are increasing by 2 each time and the denominator is increasing by 1 each time. Okay, so let me start by working out the nth term of our numerators. So I'm just going to copy out this sequence again. So it's 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11. So if I just write the numbers 1 to 5 above the top. So remember, we're looking for a rule that takes us from these position numbers to the numbers in the sequence and the way you can find this out is to look at what the sequence is going up in that's the term to term rule so on this one we're adding on 2 to give us the next term so that tells us that the sequence has something to do with the 2 times tables so I'm going to multiply all these top numbers of the sequence by 2 so I'm just going to write down my 2 times table so I've got 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. And then what do I do to these 2 times tables to give me the number in the sequence? Well, we just have to add 1 on each time. And you can see that works for every single term in the sequence. OK, so what I've done then for this one then is I've multiplied the number at the top by 2 and I've added on 1. So the nth term for the numerator of the fractions would be 2n plus 1. So we now need to do the same for the denominator. So if we write down the numbers in the sequence for our denominator, so this one's a little bit easier to do because the sequence is increasing by 1 each time. So that tells us that it has something to do with the 1 times tables. So I'm just going to multiply all the numbers at the top by 1. So in other words, I'm just going to write my 1 times table out. And then what do I do to the 1s to give me the number in the sequence? So what do I do to 1 to get to 5? I'm going to have to add on 4. And you see that works for each 1. So 2 add 4 is 6, 3 add 4 is 7, 4 add 4 is 8, 5 add 4 is 9. So the nth term of this sequence then would be uh, 1n plus 4, which you could just write down as n plus 4. So we're nearly there then now, so we just need to write down our final answer. So we do it like this. So we put 2n plus 1 on the numerator and we write n plus 4 on the denominator. So that is the nth term for our fractional number sequence so make sure you like and subscribe thanks for watching guys bye bye